This painter was born in 1877 in Amsterdam. He would have many teachers, of which Daniel Löwenstein and Hobbes Smith from the Rijks Academy, Nicolas van der Rooij, but one teacher, Auguste Allebé, would bring him to the artist zoo in Amsterdam to teach him animal drawing. He would paint portraits, cityscapes and still lives, but most of his work was essentially animals, whether it be etchings, lithography, painting or drawing. He often went to work at the artist zoo in Amsterdam and even moved to Antwerp to live there for several years, leaving Antwerp in 1914. He gave private classes to earn a living until he became a professor at the Rijks Academy of Amsterdam from 1918 to 1942. This gave him financial freedom and left him little need or even time to participate in exhibitions. He was a member and later became the secretary of the RTMTTI in Amsterdam. He was also a member of St. Lucas, the Nederlandse Kunstkring and the Onafhankelijke in Amsterdam. Being passionate about astronomy, he also joined the Weather and Astronomy Club. And in 1925, he was awarded a gold medal by Queen Wilhelmina. Two years later, at the age of 50, he painted this painting, which represents a monkey, more precisely a macaque, standing on a painter's palette in a library in front of an expressionist painting in the style of Alexei von Javlensky very different from his regular style of painting. Here, the artist is trying to bring back the cultural world to its senses, specifically targeting art critics. The text on the flag reads, having failed living as a scholar or an artist, I gave myself the job of art critic. A work of art is created with suffering, toil, sweat. But I need only know art jargon, such as, intensely felt and pure and elementary, growing from its soul and rhythmically visionary. And what people long held to be outdated, I applaud as modern, until people fall on their knees before it. I stand at the head of art. Fine artists hate me because I speculate on people's stupidity. I am a great genius. I existed before mankind. First, I wrote about art, then art was created. It was not the first time that the artist expressed his feelings about the art world. Fourteen years before, he had painted a bigger pastel entitled Blue Danger. In this painting, different types of monkey represent the different art styles and clearly make a lot of noise, even throwing buckets of blue paint, reminding us of the Picasso's earlier period. We can see works held up by the monkeys that are in the style of Georges Braque, Kees van Dongen, Georges Seurat, and even Vasily Kandinsky. In that same period, one would hear about the Blue Rider movement in Germany. Here, the monkeys are led by the art dealer represented by the wolf. This painter is Daniel Herbert van der Poel, a Dutch painter of the 19th century. Passionate feline painter, dreamer watching the stars, he would sometimes explode and share his opinion about the art world through his art, which, until this day, still gives us food for thought. 